loves. Good morning. Oh, loves it already, loves. Um, this is spiritually gifted here, aka Tasha. Um, I've been guided to come in and tap on in and actually do another reading for my collective singles. I just keep picking up that you guys are going to be dealing with a lot of deceitfulness, a lot of lying. Um, and I keep picking up is this is in regards to people that that either are going through a divorce, um, whether that's within a court system already, or trying to subpoena their ex-husband or their ex-wife or their um, ex-partner, or shall I say former partner, whatever you want to call it, however you guys choose to put it. Um, but there, um, I just feel like somebody's building obstacles, trying to give somebody more time. I don't know if this time is to, um, uh, to, to get you guys to actually forgive them. Um, it's just a lot of energy and it's not good energy that I'm picking up. So these are, I, I feel like these are warnings for you guys, um, to allow you to be 10 steps ahead, especially in regards to a divorce or some type of major separation. Um, this person keeps probably calling you. you. Somebody had to get an order of protection. Um, hold on, loves, because every time. Yeah, something's just getting out of hand, too, I'm picking up, too. Um, somebody could be trying to use sex because here go int intimacy too. Somebody's desiring to be with you, but it could be just on the sexual, you know, like I feel like y'all sex was like the bomb.com. Okay. Um, I'm also picking up that somebody doesn't want you to work, but you're about to get hired anyway. Somebody could be trying to block you from getting a job. Um, I do see STI and STD concerning at the bottom of the deck. Just let y'all know. Okay, you feel like your whole world, somebody made a mistake, could have had sex with somebody unprotected. Okay. Okay, so what else do you have and one is for the collective singles? Dang. Yeah, you guys are exhausted. You're tired. Um, you're just tired of dealing with a lot of nonsense with ex-lovers. You're just trying to focus on your um, building a legacy. You and this person could have argued a lot. And you just tired. What well, are the warnings? I'm also picking up don't argue with them any longer. It's like you're um that you're stroking that ego. It's like that this is something they want you to do. Be careful too, because I feel like they could be recording you um to take this and um give it to their uh I was gonna say judge, but give it to their lawyer to say that you're an irate person. This is why they want to get a divorce. Um, they have a lot of secrets too. They've been stalking you. They've been having somebody keep tabs on you. I'm picking up a sister or a stepsister. I'm also picking up somebody who has a detective following you, trying to see who you're with, but they're going to lie and manipulate the video to make it seem that you were cheating on them all along. Yes, they can do that, y'all. <laughs> this person could be popping up where you live at now, your mom's home. I'm picking up somebody's mom's home or sister's home, place of residence. They're trying to stop your finances or any type of finances they have to pay out or uh, minimize the amount of finances they have to pay out. They know that you have it. Sure, they have the money right here. So they're trying to stop your um, your finances. Okay. Somebody. Okay. So if you had an ex-husband or ex-partner and they know about something that happened to you as a child, they're going to try and use this for something. The lawyer is going to tell them, no, don't suit that, lo that low. Um, but I think they're going to do it anyway, and the lawyer actually is going to walk out in court because that lawyer feels disgusted representing this person, okay? It's like this person really want to get down, down and dirty with you because they're pissed that you want to leave, and it's all because they were very, uh, how should I say this, Contro controversial. They were um, the type that always wanted to argue. Uh, they're very manipulative. They used to cheat a lot. But Spirit is telling you to be very cautious with this person. This person has issues like major control issues. Okay, They're very secretive. They got a lot of secrets that you don't know about. They could be trying to invite you 
um, to out to dinner to eat or have a cocktail. But keep in mind, if there's going to be major conflict, conflict, arguments with this person, don't fuck with them. Just let it be. Like, um, let the course take care of everything. Be careful too, because a lot of you got fake friends. Okay, that's telling your personal business too. Somebody you could have just um, cut off, and this person is really pissed. Could have had some type of major fight or altercation. Somebody's going to try and pull you in by giving you gifts. They know you love gifts. Yeah. They're trying to cause uh, major uh, chaos, obstacles in your life. There's some type of celebration, a birthday of some type of or proposal event, holiday, uh, something, some type of major event coming up. But something's up. Something's going to erupt there. Somebody's uh, pissed because somebody's breaking a contract with someone. Um, somebody's going to get somebody fired from their place of employment. Yeah, I told you guys. I told you guys. I was picking up some type of major altercation as some type of celebration. Okay, you need to be very cautious. Be very cautious. Spirit is telling you there's going to be some type of major physical altercation as some type of celebration. And it's going to be somebody who just can't stand you, who's going to pick a fight, and then they're going to try and say that you were the one who um, started the altercation, but it wasn't you. It was them. They, they're very envious of you. Envious of you because your lover wants to be with you and they can't have your lover. I'm also picking up that this person, yeah, they, somebody's trying to text you guys. I feel like somebody's trying to set you guys up in regards to some type of celebration, some, some type of um, altercation that's going to take place. It's like somebody's setting you guys up. Um, it's going to be in a form of communication, whether it's via text, via email. Somebody's um, inviting you out. Somebody um, is chit-chatting over drinks, setting all this shit in motion. So you guys be careful. Trust your instinct. Yeah, somebody's trying to get rid of you. Trying to block <laughs> you from being with someone. This person could have been a stripper. A former stripper. Yeah, they they started rumors, malicious rumors about you. Somebody could be lying saying you have bad health. Hmm. The strength card here. But Spirit is telling you, don't even worry about that. Don't sweat that shit. Just don't worry about it. They got your back. They see that you manifest in a lot of sh a lot of your wishes, whatever it is that you want, you're manifesting everything. It's like something you speak within a tongue, like some affirmation, and you manifest it real fast, quick, fast, in a hurry. Your spirit, guys, is connecting with you, too. Yeah, somebody's really trying to disturb y'all um, finances, y'all stability, y'all home. I, I feel like somebody's trying to make y'all uh, homeless, too, because... It's like, you know when your finances are off, you can't pay your bills, right? You can't pay your car, no, you can't pay your utilities. Excuse me, y'all. Just drinking water. This person is trying to stop everything, okay? I just feel like somebody's trying to get you to argue with them. It could be how bringing somebody else to argue with you, too, or to pick an argument, and then that way they jump in and say that they're defending a friend or a sibling or a child or a daughter or something like that. And then your mate is going to take their side because they're going to say that you were the one that's being um, confrontational. But it wasn't. This person set this all up in motion with their daughter, too. Pick up somebody's bringing their daughter to an altercation and a friend. But you finna beat that ass. You finna tag them bitches. <laughs> you finna tag these bitches, okay? And then the other people are just going to sit back and look like, what the hell is going on? But they know that you didn't have nothing to do with it. One of the friends know that this person is very envious of you. That's what I'm picking up. This person knows that they're envious of you, okay? But it's going to be like major betrayal. And their friend, whoever you're dating, this 
person is going to take that person's side, but the other individuals that's there is going to tell them what really happened. And then all of a sudden, your mate, your partner is going to want to be on your side, but you're going to be like, fuck them. You're going to leave their ass because you knew that they was on some bullshit. They always taking this bitch side or this person's side. Pay attention to the synchronicities. Spirit showing 777 111 okay? I'm telling y'all this is set up. And this person been getting tarot readings on you too. Or watching tarot reading. Or you're a tarot reader yourself. And they've been watching you. See? These are liars and manipulators. Oh my God. I didn't even see manipulators. Manipulation here. They're liars and manipulating. They're manipulating their friends. Well, there's a few of them that know that this person is a liar. And they're just envious of you. But your mate think you're being paranoid. <laughs> That's ironic. I've been through that before. So This person lurking on your page, especially if you're a tarot reader. They're lurking on your page. It's like they got the notifications on trying to, oh yeah, I'm hitting it. I'm on the head. My nose is itching like crazy. They got the notification on trying to make sure they pay attention. They got fake accounts and shit so they can watch you. It's like they they call themselves trying to teach you a lesson. This person is very obsessive with you and or your partner. This one's sticking out. Yeah, this person wearing a false mask. Look there. This one's sticking out too. <laughs> Some of y'all got fake co-workers too. They be all in your face. Ha ha he he and they be talking mad shit about you. They know that you have a spiritual connection with your love interest too. Mm. Some of y'all could be having keepsakes or some of these tarot readers keeping some keepsakes of yours. I don't know if you said them something to do some work for you. Could be regarding finances. Yeah, somebody's going to reach out to you guys. Could be texting you, inboxing you, and you're the end, whatever. Uh, wanting to speak about a contract, but I'm picking up something in regards to a divorce. Ooh, warnings. Oh. Fake business partners. Be careful, y'all. Pay attention to the fine print is what I'm being um, guided to tell you guys. Pay attention to the fine print. Any other warning? I feel like somebody's trying to get you guys out. Like literally kick you guys out. A lot of you traveling, trying to look at homes, renting homes, selling homes, buying homes. Some of you could be into um, real estate or just tapping into real estate. You could be going to a seminar and picking up something in regards to a seminar. Here go fight again. Somebody really wants to have a physical altercation with you. They feel like they can kick you out of some type of group or click or whatever if they just pick a fight with you and they see that you're a violent person. But you're just the type that just don't take no shit and they can feel that. So they feel threatened by you. Yeah, see? And also you guys have somebody moving towards you. Um, they want to reconcile with you. Um, they could want to travel with you. Somebody could be trying to block you from traveling also. Some of you could be working on your credit or somebody's fucking with your credit be using your information your personal information yeah somebody's gossiping doing a lot of gossip gossiping and lying on you guys so be mindful um i keep picking up there's a tarot reader you gave some information information to now i don't know why would this tarot reader reach out to you and say they'll give you a free reading or a discount on a read this was in reverse and as soon as i looked at advice i looked at tarot so somebody actually is friends with your enemy okay and someone that's actually a friend of me that you don't know anything about but this person they're trying to manipulate you they're trying to manip Ooh. yeah they're trying to emotionally manipulate you psychologically manipulate you Physically and verbally manipulate you. 
I'm telling y'all, somebody really is so envious of y'all that they would lie and get someone to come in to some type of click or a web function or whatever just to start a physical, a verbal altercation to so it can stem it to and escalate to a physical altercation. Somebody, you guys got to uh, gonna find out that somebody's struggling with some type of gambling, drug, violence, or codependency uh, addictions. Okay, somebody's trying to do a lot of praying, um, asking the universe to help them. Some of you need to really work on your credit. Oh, okay. I told you guys, some of y'all could have blocked somebody and they pissed. Somebody stopped having sex with their ex-husband or ex-wife or ex-partner, former partner. Some of y'all could be finding out or someone found out that they have some type of um, SCD or STI. Either you want to, um, you started looking up signs and symptoms of something that you could be having. I'm, I'm picking up something with severe cramping in the abdominal area. I'm also um, picking up that you blocked and, and stopped being intimate with someone. This could be your husband or your wife or your former partner. Um, because you found out that they had something and you was looking up signs and symptoms if and because you're wondering some of you wondering why you're not getting signs and symptoms um but keep in mind a lot of these stds stis everybody don't depending on your type of body um uh, mechanism however you want to call it everybody don't get signs and symptoms of things and you're wondering okay but i don't have this sign I, this is what they're having but i don't have it well you're not them you're different your whole dna everything is different okay your makeup is, everything is different so I feel like you looked up all these signs and symptoms and you probably already went to the doctor already and you just awaiting the results but you just still doing your research and you stopped being intimate with this person you were in denial okay um you guys be weary too because I do feel like someone's going to be a uh, possible eviction or is being evicted could be the uh, month of September or October coming up. You guys are being warned because we got this before, I believe, for my singles as well. Um, I can't recall, but I just know that we got this in a reading recently, this week, that someone's going to get pulled over for a DUI and go to go to jail. I was in channel prison, so some of y'all going to be going to jail. <laughs> I don't know if this is not the first time and you were on some type of um, what they call it when they have you not surveillance but they're monitoring you and this is either your second or your third DUI so somebody's going to jail okay a lot of you um, need to be mindful there's somebody sending you evil eyes okay projecting evil eye onto you um, yeah here go rec reconciliation again this is double confirmation Somebody got the wrong perception of you. Okay. Somebody's trying to block you guys too. Um, yeah, somebody's wearing a false mask. So you guys could be monitoring your ex-partners, ex-husband, ex-wife. On a social media platform and they, they're posting certain things but they're putting on a false mask they're not happy somebody's plotting on you remember I told you guys that somebody is up to no good um, and you guys are gonna find out somebody's suffering from some type of mental issue yeah somebody's seeking answers um, by getting tarot readings done on you any other warnings thank you yeah, liar. I seen this when I was uh, shuffling the decks and actually when I took the deck out of my bag. I seen this. This was the very first card. Whoever you guys are around or your lovers are around, they're a bad influence. They're coming off as cool, calm, and collective, a ride or die friend. But these um, individuals are liars. They're putting on false masks. So the friend won't know that they're putting on false masks. Okay. <clears throat> Any other warning, spirit? Yeah, somebody's a thief. Y'all need to be careful. Y'all having people in your homes. Learn about your bank account information. Learn about your finances, period. They're a thief. You need to be mindful. Somebody's watch is about to get stolen. And wallet. Wow. You guys. 
Somebody's having an emotional breakdown. They are really plotting. Look at this. Somebody is really up to no good. It's like they 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 plotting. They putting out rumors about you. Could be lying, saying that you're in bad health. Putting out evil eyes. Look at this. Double confirmation. Look at that. This is crazy. The, the, the depths of what people will go through because they're jealous or envious of your ass. They majorly plotted on you guys. So be very careful if somebody invites you to something. Be careful. I feel you have an inclination, so you're going to be ready. You're going to be ready. See? Put off a side. They're not who they say they are. Okay, what else you have for the single spirit? Any warnings for my singles? Why don't we 10 steps ahead, please? Warnings for the singles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person is constantly throwing shade around people that you be around too. Now, I mean, you could have been um, introduced to an another set of people, getting to know these people. Somebody going to slip and tell you that this person really hating on you. They're trying to get you kicked out. Kicked out of the clique. They don't want you in there. <laughs> they want you to be isolated. They want you gone and out of here, okay? Mm -hmm. I told you, they secretly hating on you. There could be some type of, yeah, I told you guys, y'all going through some type of legal divorce or some type of settlement or something like that. Could be an inheritance, a dispute on inheritance or something like that. Somebody's plotting on that. These are success haters. Somebody's trying to fuck up your reputation too. A success hater. They don't want to see you grow. They don't want to see you amplify. They don't want to see you just rise. You know what I'm saying? There's so many haters out here don't make no, he going to fight again. Somebody really despise you guys. They literally despise you. What are the warnings you have for my collective single spirit? A lot of be 10 steps ahead of their enemies. Yeah, somebody's very uh, obsessive with you. And I've heard obsessive with your lover too. They do shit when your lover is not paying attention. Or say little subliminal shit when your lover is not around you or walked away. They do shit like that. Yeah, this person has bad intentions. I told you guys, they putting on facades and shit. <laughs> That's so messy. They trying to manipulate you, um, trying to manipulate you, trying to manipulate your partner. But this is in reverse. They can't do that. And they trying their best to sugarcoat shit where your uh, partner is not paying attention. This is somebody that you, like, this can be your friend, your siblings, your family, that you guys are um, going back and forth, or you know that your aunt don't like you, but your 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 uncle and them don't see that, or your, aunt, your auntie got, excuse me, got has issues with you, or always saying something subliminal, and nobody else seems to see it. There's a lot of secrets out there, okay? When I say partner... This can be a former partner. Or you guys breaking up over something mediocre because of somebody else. Oh my God, did y'all see this? Double confirmation about the evil eye. Somebody act like they can have a fucking mental breakdown because you and somebody or you coming up and rising. and Or even though you're not working but you still got income coming in. <clears throat> like you saved your money and somebody's hating on you. You know, this is just crazy. I, I don't understand. <laughs> People are so envious over little stupid, just the stupidest things. Like <clears throat> somebody hating on you because you you have a lot of creativity. Not a mess. That manifest stuff. Like manifest whatever it is that you want. You know how to manifest it. Where did they go? Oh, okay. I told y'all. Somebody's gonna make a threat. You see that? Y'all better be careful. They got bad intentions. They're trying to fuck up your reputation. Plotting against you. Evil eye twice. They're lying. Look. Plotting twice and threat. Evil eye twice. And threat. 
evil eye twice and threat twice. Watch your back, y'all. And carry something to protect y'all, too. Don't take nothing lightly, okay? You have a right to protect you. And somebody's doing some uh, root work on you. Could be on your um, the significant other you want to be with. Or this could be why you um getting a divorce because somebody's doing root work on you and your own. Um, your husband, your wife, your partner, lifelong partner, whatever you want to call it. This person is literally psycho and they come off as being calm, cool, and collected like nothing's wrong with them. They want you and this person to be separated. Their main goal is to separate you guys. This person is more worried about being, um, how should I say it, being isolated from from the family, isolated from the clique, isolated from in the work environment. Somebody's about to confess something, I told y'all. Somebody knows that this person is envious of you, and they're going to tell you. They're going to literally tell you. They constantly throwing shade, and he's going to double confirmation. <laughs> this person's shady as fuck. And this person's constantly lurking on your page. This is double confirmation, too. Mm -mm. And then they're going to try to apologize to you, but it's not authentic. The apology is not authentic. Any more messages for the collective singles? I told you, they don't want you guys anywhere near their friends. We got kicked out twice. They don't, they're getting these tarot readings done on you, okay? Uh, here go fight again. <laughs> I picked this up. I think it was right here, but I picked it up again. So it's like Spirit was saying, yes, this is going to be a physical altercation. Yes. Prepare yourself. Make sure you have something to protect yourself. Whoop them bitches ass. See, they think they finna have one up on you because they trying to lure you in and think you're not paying attention or think you don't know that they out for blood. But somebody's trying to set you up. Okay? But people gonna see that this person's on some bullshit. And they're gonna have your back. <clears throat> they're gonna be playing victim. I told you. <clears throat> they're gonna play victim. I don't know if it's playing victim with your with your lover or playing victim with their friends or your aunt is going to play victim, but they're going to have a third party there at some type of function or event or at a family gathering. And they're going to act like um, th this is somebody that's actually romantically, um, how should I say it, romantically <clears throat> not involved with your partner, but it could be. They could have slept together, kissed or played or flirted with one another but this is somebody who could be trying to hook your partner up or somebody that you're interested up or your husband or your wife or your life partner somebody um that you're getting a divorce from or separating from somebody's doing some rude work to cause chaos in your life with this person and this person literally act like they're going bonkers any more warnings for the collective singles here any warnings for the collective singles please they're doing a lot of research about your sign, your astrological sign. They're asking your partner or siblings, what's their sign? When is their birthday? Do you know when they were born? Oh, my God, we act so much alike. Or, you know, things of that nature. Um, They're trying to get information on you to sue you, too. So somebody's going to be trying to sue somebody. Somebody could be doing background checks on you guys, too. I'm also picking up somebody's meditating to get more clarity about you. This person is really angry. And I told you, they're very insecure. I don't care how good of a job somebody got, how much money they're making. It's still people out here that actually, they want you gone. Listen, this person is so insecure, they want you gone. They feel like you should not be here. You're, they literally trying to block you from being around their family, around their friends. Or these are their friends, but that's like they found you. But they're trying to block you and kick you out of the, the scene, out of the, the, the circle. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you know what's up. You know what's up. They studying you. They literally trying to study you. Somebody's literally trying to study you, um, singles. Yep, I'm telling y'all, somebody's doing a tag team. 
These people are considered dangerous. They're major copycats too. Somebody's studying you. Okay. Copying you. They're doing some type of tag team to block you. I feel like this person going to make a, a really drastic move towards you. And then they're going to be trying to um, ask for, for forgiveness and try to seek their friends out and apologize for causing a commotion at a, a, a function. Then I say ST, eyes and STD concerns. That's double confirmation. What does you have for my single spirit? Oh, somebody deleting messages out their phone so nobody won't know that they're getting somebody to do something or to cause some type of chaos because I keep picking up chaos. Yeah, need some fake ass friends. Fake ass friends. Okay, Spirit, what else do you have? Uh, what type of chaos is coming in for the collective singles that they need to be forewarned ahead of time? Be mindful who you're going to business with. This person could just be clout chasing or trying to get. Um, how should I say this? If you're trying to start a business, I feel like somebody's plotting on you, trying to block it. Um, I'm also picking up somebody's going to be lying in regards to some type of um, paperwork too. This could be a friend. Well, someone you think is a friend, but they're not. Somebody's going to, if you wanted to be, was going to go into business on and you changed your mind, this person is going to try and fuck up your reputation because they're going to be envious. They're going to be gossiping and lying about you. Okay. Stay focused on your mission or what you're trying to do. This person's putting on a facade. They're wearing a mask. They two face it. Somebody's about to win a settlement, but somebody's going to come back to you when they find out you're, you're about to win a settlement. This person is, this envious person is very angry with you. Some of you need to be careful where you're moving to. Check the area out for high crime. I'm also picking up something about death. You go to study. And yeah, you need to study where you're trying to move to. I'm picking up something about high crime or uh, death. Yeah, somebody mentally unstable. I told you guys, somebody's trying to block you guys and send a lot of obstacles. This person is two-faced. They're wearing a mask. But Spirit said those obstacles are being cleared, so don't worry about it. This Spirit's going to show who this person truly is and how much of a hater and envious individual they are in front of their own friends, in front of their own family, in front of their own clique. And actually, a lot of you are going to be able to sue these individuals and actually get paid. That's going to be a major... Uh, investigation that was karmic this is something that was fated to happen that was karmic that fell on the floor yeah this plant yeah this person's planning and plotting and they're gonna play victim planning and plotting and plan victim ain't that about something look at this evil eye evil eye plotting plotting threatening um physical altercation somebody's actually attracted to you too they're trying to tear you away from your mate or keep you and a, a, a aunt in some type of chaos. There's going to be um, some type of major investigation. This person is going to be playing victim and put on a facade. They're working you, working somebody else. Working you, working your uncle. Working you, working your aunt. Working you, working your siblings. Or and your mother. See? Tr now somebody's going to be treating it. Treating the STD or STI. I'm also picking up, this is how somebody found out that their husband or partner uh, was cheating on them. What are the warnings? Yeah, this double confirmation that somebody's working on you. They're magically root work, working on you, doing some kind of can candle spell. See? Oh my God. You guys, I told you. Somebody's trying to manipulate you guys. You got gossip here twice. 
Okay, somebody's trying to clean up and cover their tracks. Somebody's working on you guys. Look, somebody's seriously doing some root work on you guys. I believe there were three. So this is triple confirmation. To, yes, I told you. They fuck, trying to fuck with your money, get you and your love to be um, at odds with one another, get you guys to argue. Wow, that's amazing because I've been through this before. This is crazy how people think and people be thinking you crazy. Mm -hmm. Yes, honey. Getting tarot readings done on you. Wow, trying to cause confusion. Causing you to have a mental breakdown. Causing you to have to move or go stay with friends. This person is really angry and envious of you. This is some, this is an envious motherfucker. Look. Three times. Three times. That's crazy, y'all. Look at that. What are the warnings you have? Where the one is scared to have but collect the singles. They're gonna sell them in again. Wow. See, they contemplating, they plotting, they contemplating and plotting. Contemplating, plotting, and planning. Contemplating, planning, and plotting. I'm sorry. Contemplating, planning, and plotting. But you finna move, you finna get twice over some type of major settlement. It's gonna be major change for you. Yeah, you're gonna have to move. But you finna have stability, baby. All because of this person or what this person is doing. Y'all about to go to court and you're gonna win. This this person is gonna have to pay you a lot of money. And then now this is gonna be on their background and they're not gonna be able to work. They're gonna have to empty out so much of their savings to pay you. And I feel like the friend or your lover or your family or your uncle or somebody's gonna try to actually get you. Like, yeah, this person busted. They finna get busted of all the stuff that they're doing. Family member, they're so envious of you, they don't know what to do. This is revenge. They want revenge from you. And you haven't even done anything to them. This, oh gosh, this is crazy. They trying to block, block somebody from proposing to you, too. Somebody wants to propose to you, love, you singles. And whoever this is is trying to block them from doing it. Block your stability. Playing victim all the time. Gossiping. Lying on you. They're studying you. They money hungry too. Some of them could have been an escort. Somebody's about to confess something to you guys too. That was stripper uh, at Karmic. The Karmic that fell on the floor. Somebody's selling their ass. You're going to find out that they're selling their ass. He's going to fight again. I'm also picking up two escorts or two um, strippers are going to be fighting. Uh, you're single. Some type of major karma. Yeah, some type of major betrayal. Somebody slept with somebody's husband, wife, whatever. Damn, this is karma. Twice. Look at this. This is karma twice. Y'all see this, right? Plotting twice. Plotting twice. You got to fight. Where's the other one? I know there's another one. Somebody paying somebody. They're trying to look into you. Look into your um uh, your chart. Trying to learn you. It was another uh, fighting here. You, you got Bruja Magic in here three times. There's another one, but there's a lesson you're supposed to learn from this. Like, trust your good instinct. Don't let nobody steer you wrong in um, what you're feeling or what you're picking up. Because I feel like somebody um, was trying to tell you something different than you were. You knew that you were right, but it's like you just really don't want to argue and go back and forth with your lover or whatever the case may be. But this person is going to physically try to harm you. Yeah, this person obsessed with you. Obsessed with you or your lover. There's another fight, but y'all, it's so much over here. It's just ridiculous. Y'all got toxic family members and stuff. This is crazy. Look at that. Yes. Well, loves, that's all that I have for you for singles. I just want you guys to be very careful. 
out there, yeah, somebody's trying to cover their tracks. Didn't I tell, that, tell you guys that? Somebody's trying to cover their tracks. You guys, be very mindful and watch your back. Okay, singles? Um, because I feel like there's a lot of deceitfulness, a lot of negative energy, people trying to uh, set you up, um, bringing in third and fourth individuals to pick an altercation or some type of verbal altercation. And then this person want to step in and say that they're trying to uh, protect their friend or they were going to lie and say they tried to break it up, but they really threw a blow and you and this person got into it and you tapped that ass. You beat both them bitches ass. Yes, and this person really think you some type of punk because you don't speak on shit. But you know what? I just feel like you just the type that you don't like all that confrontation. But when a bitch really come towards you, you gonna tag that ass. And this person think you a punk, and you're not about that. You're not about all that violence. You know what I'm saying? But this person finna do something. I'm feeling like cut you on your face. Um, and this is the friend of your lover or the auntie or the uncle. Some type of physical altercation. Okay, this person's going to cut you on your... I just feel like somebody's going to get shanked. Shanked. A teeth knocked out. It's like they're trying to fuck with your face because they're so envious of you. You're very beautiful. Elegant. Poised. You know your shit. You can feel that they're a liar and they're deceitful. You know what I'm saying? I feel like something else is going to jump out. But uh, I'm just going to keep shoveling while I'm talking and giving you guys these messages. Uh, but there is going to be an investigation and you're going to get a settlement out of it. And whoever this person is, male or female, oh, baby girl or baby boy, y'all about to get paid. This bitch got to pay out, okay? That's what they get for trying to be sneaky. And then the people that they had come to whatever function this is, whether this is a family reunion, a family gathering, a memorial, a celebration, what's going to happen is her or his friends are going to jail because they already have a background. Of being violent. Mm -hmm. Somebody stargazing shit. Terrible. I told y'all. Yeah. Major change. I told you. Yep. Yeah. This is the third time I've seen Terrell. They looking into you guys. One, two. And it's another one over here. They looking into you guys. Trying to um, learn about y'all. Trying to be, push change on y'all. Habit. Chaos in your life. They know that y'all have a spiritual connection, whether it's a twin flame soulmate or some type of life partner with their friend your uh, or your husband or your life partner that you were with. But somebody did something to manipulate the energy to bring chaos, um, um, chaos with being verbally argument, uh, argumentation or argument. I'm sorry, I said argumentation. They're trying to bring chaos in a relationship. They're trying to um, actually get make y'all get a divorce for those who are in a divorce going through a divorce proceedings but somebody's doing all this to you guys yeah that's confirmation my nose is itching they doing all this they bring in chaos they making y'all um um to the point where you're not attracted physically attracted to your mate anymore uh, making it to where y'all could be having pain doing sex they doing all this Y'all do know that people can actually do some type of root work and make you have fibroids or um, some type of pain during uh, sex or um, to where you desire to be with somebody else, to where you cheat. They can do all that. <clears throat> yep, mess with your reputation. <clears throat> this person is very desperate. <clears throat> they, yeah, they're trying to take advantage and walk all over and control you and your person. The person that you want to be with, especially if you in a um, divorce proceeding or some type of separation from your partner, uh, life partner, whatever the case, <clears throat> this person uh, put all that chaos in there. They're trying to get you to leave that person so they can be with them. <clears throat> okay. I'm also picking up this can be somebody that you guys just met, but technically you're single. You just get to know this person. I'm picking that up too. <clears throat> Whoever um, they introduce you to, that person that you're getting to know. And y'all haven't solidified anything or made anything official. I feel like this person wants to make something official. They told somebody and this person's living. They live it as fuck. They don't want this person to propose to you. They don't want this person, you and this person to come together in a solidified relationship. <clears throat> okay. But this person, they know that this person truly loves you or in love with you. And they don't want it to happen. Okay. Love and light to you guys. Um, you guys, please share this on your social media platform. Because um, this may help someone. Um, let's keep it real. Um, also, if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please support your girl and click that uh, subscription. Uh, don't forget to hit that notification bell for future uh, 
messages. Sorry, I was going to say references. That's so weird. <clears throat> so, yeah, somebody's looking something up. <laughs> They're trying to uh, cross state, uh, dot their ass and cross state, cross state T's. Dot their ass and cross state T's. I don't know what that's about, but yeah. And I keep picking up emphasis on pay attention to the fine print of some type of contract or divorce proceedings. Um, but if you, I just feel like, <clears throat> if you have an inclination or you yourself had a tarot reading and the tarot reader didn't let you know that somebody was doing root work on you and your partner and you really don't want to divorce this person and the person don't want to divorce you and something just seemed really weird and off the energy, you may even get sick around whenever you come around your mate, y'all get nauseous or get some type of sickness or like when y'all can have sex, I'm just, this may be a little TMI, all of a sudden your tummy hurt and you guys got to have a bowel movement or whenever y'all eat something y'all getting sick and y'all really can't get it on like this person is really trying to keep you guys from um uh, merging okay from being intimate with one another like say your friend or your family when they told somebody oh they got the bomb sex y'all shouldn't be telling people that because now it's like okay i gotta keep them from being intimate with one another i cause chaos. i make that person have fibroids to where they have, um, when they're intimate, it hurts. It hurts when they're being penetrated. Or make their poo nanny stink. Or somebody bottom smells. And, you know, just all types of stuff. Just to get you guys not to be together. It happens. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Just take my word for it, okay? May start making you guys sick, having um, horrible headaches. Um... Issues with your vision, all types of stuff. These wicked people do stuff like this, okay? Don't get it twisted, y'all. They do stuff like this. Just want to let y'all know. Spirit want to let y'all know to be 10 steps ahead. Love and light to you guys. Um, I may leave the comments open if you guys want to leave a comment. But I'm quite sure a lot of you are not going to own up to this. It is what it is. Now, unless you got a fake account and you want to confirm something, that's, that's, your, that's your business. Free will. But love and light to you guys. I love you. Um, have a beautiful, beautiful weekend, okay? Take care.